Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you the basic lighting in OpenGL. So, we have the draw cube function and we have already draw a uh, cube, so uh, that will be good for our 3D mesh because it will be good, uh, so it will be seen very good how the lighting does actually work. Okay, so first of all, let's just uh, enable the lighting with the GL enable, similarly than we did with the def buffer, so the def def. So GL enable, GL lighting, and uh, let's see what happened now, if we compile and run the program at this point. Uh, you see some uh, very, very dark, almost black uh, cube and it's rotating as it should but we all uh, but we can not see it very good that's because we enabled the lighting so uh, the OpenGL already do the lighting calculations but we don't have any light okay so before i forget it let's uh, make normal vectors for each face normal vector is a vector which is perpendicular to the surface so the face, okay, a vector I is basically a line which has a distance and uh, a direction. Okay, you should give normal vectors to it. The normal vectors mean that the length of the vector is 1. You can easily calculate the length of the vector by the 3D Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so... I don't know that this is, is it clear or not. So, GL normal free f, and we have to just define the vector. So, for example, in this case, uh, the x and the y zero to be perpendicular to the surface, and the z axis is one. We use one because if we use one, then the length of the vector is a one. Okay, so it is facing toward us, that, that's why we use 1. Okay, so let's do it with the next one, so the last phase. GL normal 3F and the, the and we use the X minus 1 and the other one are just zeros. Okay and let's make it the, with the next one gl normal 3f and this is the back face so you we use minus one for the normal vector so in the z axis minus one okay let's do it with the right face gl nor oh caps lock gl normal 3f Okay, so it is the right face, so we use 1.0 and the others are just zeros. The top face we use uh, for the y 1.0 and the others are just zeros. Okay, and the bottom face we use the y minus 1 and we are ready. Okay, so if we compile and run the program in this point, it doesn't give any change because uh, we still don't have a light, we just have normal vectors and OpenGL use normal vectors to calculate the light. So this is for the lighting calculation. As you would get the weird effect if you do not define the normal vectors. So uh, faces that doesn't r uh, lit by the light is lit and so on so you have to always define the normal vectors then we will write an object loader we will uh, load the normal vectors from the given object so we don't have to manually define it this is an only time uh, situation when we define the normal vectors and all of the vertexes manually okay so we act we enable the lighting now uh, let's enable one light we use the gl enable again and we use the gl light and then the number of the lights so we enable the gl light zero 
we can enable GL lighting one, two, three, four, uh, at least eight, but maybe more depend on your implementation as it usually says. Okay, so uh, we enable uh, one lighting. Now we need to define the property of this light. We use the GL light F V. Uh, you haven't seen this uh, V in here, although you know it's weight F. But what is V? V is mean vector, but it doesn't weight uh, STD vector. It's weight uh, uh, array, a simple array. All right, so first parameter is what light do you want to modify GL light 0 in this case because we only have that light then what property of the light you want to modify there is a lot of property of the light most uh, often you uh, modify the diffuse specular ambient property and uh, the position that is the most uh, used but there are a lot of others so if you want to know more just go to GL Light F just write to Google GL Write FV and you will find all of the property which you can modify so for example modify the position GL position okay and the third parameter is the vector which contain the position so I make a float array I call it position actually post okay and in here just give the position so we want it a little bit so a little bit left a little bit upper and uh, make it minus 3.0 uh, so this is the depth in the z-axis okay and uh, we have to give another a fourth value this is if it is zero then it is directional light it means that this is the direction of the light uh, or you can press one put one in here that is positional light it means that the position of this is that so this is the position of the light we want the position okay and then you just write here the position okay then you can change the ambient diffuse and specular property so float call it uh, diff the di uh, by the way the diffuse is uh, is when a light hi uh, lit by a uh, lit a matte surface so it is uh, reflect the light in every direction the same amount the ambient is a light which is everywhere uh, there is no real world equivalent but uh, a cloudy day for example uh, so it is similar than the object themselves uh, emit that light because it is everywhere even if there is no light source that that's uh, why we saw uh, the yes that's why we saw that uh, uh, cube okay so uh, and specular is basically a shiny point of the surface for example if you so, uh, if you see some uh, very shiny uh, object for example uh, glass then if the light directly lit that uh, glass you see a little shiny point in there and if you move then y you see that this point is moving okay for now we don't uh, uh, set the specular value because to set the uh, specular value we need more faces uh, to the give a good result okay so the diffuse light will be one okay i give a fourth value this is alpha uh, we don't care about that at least at the moment okay so this is uh, diffuse light okay so we use the gl light fb again we d we modify the gl light zero then we modify the gl 
diffuse and and we give that diff array which we have just created so we basically make a, a lamp, lamp which is uh, give a white uh, color so white uh, light okay and uh, we can modify the ambient so I call amp this is the light which is everywhere so make it 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 1.0 so this light is uh, basically everywhere as I said uh, usually it has a smaller uh, amount than the actual lamp so GFV and we just set the GL light 0 then GL ambient and just give this array okay basically that's about it so oh sorry I just realized that we do the position to the bad place because the position is changed whether we use transformation light translate so we want to do in here so after we load the identity matrix we just give the position because in this case it will be relative to the eye if we would use it uh, under the translate then we start from minus 5 at the x-axis and we add minus 3 to it so it, so it will be minus 8 actually so we have to define the position right here so in the display function so the light always sta uh, stays at the same place as the light will just go away okay and uh, I think we are almost ready so we can uh, compile and run the program and as you can see you see the lighting although you can see the color of uh, of the cube